Good morning class. For today, I will discuss the first topic for this week which is about the geometric sequence finding the indicated term or the n term. Before I give you the examples, let's define first what is geometric sequence. So according to this uh, definition, it is a sequence of numbers that follows a pattern where the next term is found by, by multiplying a constant called common ratio. So meaning, for a sequence to be considered geometric, there should be what we call common ratio. For example, in letter, um, in letter A, we have a sequence here, 2, 4, um, 8, and 16. The first thing we need to do here is uh, to check what's the common ratio. So four, also to, to know the common ratio, what we will do is divide any two succeeding terms, like here. We will divide 4 divided by 2, that's equal to 2. We can also use 8 and 4. 8 divided by 4, that's equal to 2. Or 8, 16 divided by 8, that's also equal to 2. So all of them are equal, that's why they are called common ratio. Therefore, A is a geometric sequence. And also that number 2 is the number that we multiply to this term to get the, the next term. So 2 divided by 2, that gives us 4 times, uh, sorry, 2 times 2 is equal to 4, times 2 is equal to 8, times 2 is equal to 16. Let's uh, look at letter B. What's the common ratio of letter B? So for letter B, to get the common ratio, like what I mentioned earlier, divide any two succeeding terms. So here we can divide uh, the second and the first term. That's um, 12 divided by 36. We need to simplify that and that is the same as one third. So that one third is what we call the common ratio. Yes, it's it's a possibility that the common ratio is a fraction. So one, uh, 36 times one third is 12, times one third is four, times one third is four over three, okay? How about letter C? We have one, negative four, 16, and negative uh, 64. Let's check uh, the common ratio first. So again, to get the common ratio, we, can, we need to divide any two succeeding terms. So negative 4 divided by 1 is negative 4. Um, positive 16 divided by negative 4 is equal to negative 4. Negative 64 divided by 16 is also negative 4. Okay? So therefore, letter C is a geometric sequence and the common ratio is negative 4. How about letter D? So letter D, we have negative 1 half, 3 over 2, um, negative 9 over 2, and, two and uh, 27 over 2. So 3 over, to get the common ratio, what, what we will do is divide any two succeeding terms. So we can do, we can divide 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. So that's um, 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, okay? So that is the same as um, equals 6 over 2. So you just need to multiply this. That's 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. 6 over 2 is equal to 3. So 3 is our common ratio here. So let's check if um, this is the correct uh, common ratio. If we multiply negative 1 half by um, uh, negative 3, okay, the answer should be positive 3 over 2. So negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3 over 2. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 over 2. Negative 3 times negative 9 is 27 over 2. So that is correct. Negative 3 is the common ratio. Okay, so let me give you examples of problems uh, about the lesson for today. Number 1, uh, what is the ninth term of the geometric sequence 2, 3, uh, sorry, 2, 6, 18, and 54? So the first thing we need to do here is, of course, we will use the formula, okay? The formula is um, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times um, r raised to n minus 1. So we need to know the first term, we need to know the common ratio, and we need to know the indicated term, okay? So our first term in the sequence, that's so obvious, that is equal to 2, okay? This is the first term a sub 1, okay? We need to know r as well. r is, um, we need to divide any two succeeding terms, so we can divide 6 and 2, 
So 6 divided by 2, that will give us 3. So this is equal to 3. And then n is this, the indicated term, which is equal to 9. So 9 minus 1. Okay. Now when you, per, when you evaluate this one, don't multiply 2 and 3. Okay. The first thing you need to do here is solve um, 3 raised to a 9 minus 1 first. Okay. So 2 times 3 raised to 8. And that is equal to um, 13,120. Okay. So that's our answer. Um, before you multiply 2 and 6, you have to evaluate 3 raised to 8 first. So 3 raised to 8, and then the answer to that multiplied to 2, the answer will be 13,122. Okay? Again, I will repeat that. Don't multiply 2 and 3. First, you have to solve this. So that's 9 minus 1, that's 3 raised to 8, and solve 3 raised to 8 first. And the answer to that, multiply that to 2, and that will give you the answer, which is 13,122. That's the ninth term of the sequence. Okay? Let's proceed to the uh, second example. What is the 14th term of the geometric sequence 4, a negative 8, um, a 16, and negative 32? And again, uh, we will be using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. a sub 1, this is the first term in the sequence, this is 4, times r, common difference, uh, sorry, the common ratio in the sequence. Negative 8 divided by 4, that is equal to um, negative 2. So you have to enclose that, negative 2. Raised to um, 14 minus 1. Okay. And this is equal to 4 times um, negative 2, ta raised to 13. Okay. Now when you use your calculator and the base is a negative sign, you have to enclose that into a parenthesis and raise to um, a number. Because if you're, go, if you're going to omit the parenthesis negative 2 raised to 13, or whatever number is the exponent, it will always be negative, okay? But, well, in this case, it, it's negative. But if it's negative 2 raised to an even number like negative 2 raised to 10, um, it will definitely be positive. Uh, but it, without the, uh, the parenthesis, it will always be negative, okay? Please take note of that. You have to use the uh, parenthesis. So negative 2 raised to 13 times 4 is equal to negative 32,786. Okay? So I will repeat that again. Um, the first thing you need to do here is identify the variables a sub 1, r, and n. a sub 1 is the first term. That's 4 in this problem. r is the common ratio that's dividing any two succeeding terms. Negative 8 divided by 4, that, that gives us negative 2. So this is negative 2. 14 is the indicated term, meaning the given here. What's that 14 term in the sequence? So it's 14 minus 1, and that is equal to 13. You have to enclose that into a parenthesis if it's a negative number or a fraction. Uh, so negative 2 raised to 13 times 4, that will give us negative 32,768. Okay, so let's have two more examples. In number three, we have find the a, uh, a term of the geometric sequence 12, 6, 3, 3 over 2, etc., etc. We need to know the A term. Of course, we'll be using the formula A sub n equals A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1. So we need to know A sub 1. We need to know um, our R and, the, um, and our n. First is A sub 1. What's the first term of the sequence? That's 12 times r so to know or to determine the r we need to divide any two succeeding terms that's 6 divided by 12 and that's the same as 1 half or 0.5 so 1 half raised to um, 8 minus 1 okay and that is equal to um, 12 times 1 half raised to 7 okay now, 1 half raised to 7 is equal to 1 raised to 7 over 2 raised to 7, okay? And this is what will happen. 12 times 1 raised to 7 is 1, 2 raised to 7 is 128, okay? And then just multiply those two, that's 12 over 128. Simplify that, the answer is um, 3 over 32. 
That's the answer right there. Okay? Let's have the last example. Find the 10th term of the geometric sequ sequence 64, um, 16, 4, and positive 1. Now, let's say this is negative. Okay, I will change this. Let's say this is negative 16, this is negative 1. Okay. So, again, the formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. What is our a sub 1? That's the first term of the sequence. In this case, it's 64 times r. You have to divide any two succeeding terms. You can actually divide this two. This is the easiest. It's negative 1 over 4, and it's negative 1 4. If you divide negative 16 and 64, that will also give you negative 1 4 if you simplify it. Negative 1 fourth and n is 10 raised to uh, 10 minus 1 rather. So this is 64 times negative 1 over 4 raised to positive 9. Okay? And um, this is equal to 64 times negative 1 raised to 9 is equal to negative 1. 4 raised to 9, that is equal to 2, 6, 2. 1, 4, 4. Okay. And then multiply them. That's the answer. Uh, the answer will be um, negative 64 over 262, 1, 4, 4. And finally, we need to simplify that. The simplified form is 1 over 4096.